Well, after they were closed for months, area dental offices are still trying to work through the backlog of patients. NBC 5's Jackie Pascal shows us what an appointment looks like in the age of COVID-19. A quiet, empty waiting room at Timberlane Dental. So have you got a chance to go over the COVID pre-screening questions? The parking lot, though, is full. Everyone waiting outside for a text message to meet their dental hygienist. Hi, are you Alice? Who will then do one last temperature check. And I'll take both of the temperatures. And stop at a sanitizing station. Having the patient feel safe is of utmost importance. And dentist Dr. Theron Main says he feels safe too. Well, I take it off now because I want to. You can. You're the only one allowed to take it off in this room. Dentistry is unique in that we're down in the mouth all day long. And we put another mask over on top of that. I feel super confident with all the measures that we're taking even if they're pretty intense with the costume changes and with all the different types of masks and with the face shields. Dental hygienists are taking similar precautions during cleanings, which don't include the high power brushing you may be used to. Just everyone's favorite, the scraping. Relax your lips. It's in between patients where the extra work starts for the hygienists. Now having to replace plastic barriers for common touch points and sanitizing everything. Overall, it, it, is a, it is a lot of cleaning, but it's not too, too much different than what we were doing before, just because in, we're just naturally such a sanitized area. Everyone in the office is working longer days to make up for the added safety procedures. We'll start a little sooner and we'll stagger appointments and then we might end just a little later. I typically work four days a week, which is full time for, my, um, for myself. And I've been working five days a week just to try to catch up on patients. The end of the week is, is where the, the fatigue really sets in. The staff says it's all worth it to see their patients again. Show me that smile, right together, Even if it's behind layers and layers of protective gear. The worst part is that we're in the business of building smiles and we can't smile anymore at our patients, so that's been tough. In South Burlington, Jackie Pascal, NBC5 News. Timberlane Dental Group, I was there this morning, is following the CDC and the American Dental Association's guidelines for preventing the spread of COVID-19 during visits. They recommend checking your individual dentist's office to see what's different. <laughs>